the driver of the number 19 Joe Gibbs Racing, Stanley Children's Miracle Network Toyota Camry. Uh, Daniels had two previous Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series starts, um, and both two, both starts ended in top 20 finishes. Daniel, tell us a little bit about your special spank paint scheme this weekend and why you have a million reasons why um, you should win Sunday's O'Reilly Auto Parts 500. Yeah. <clears throat> well, first of all, uh, thank you everyone for being here. Um, you know, this is a very special week and weekend. Um, you know, I'm very excited. I was very excited yesterday, uh, just as I am on Sundays uh, for, for the race, uh, just to meet all these kids that help to inspire uh, this race car that I'm going to be driving this weekend. Um, uh, Matthew, Jacob, Lucas, um, and Gabriel. These kids are amazing. Uh, as soon as you get the opportunity to meet these kids, the first the first impression is just to have a smile on your face. Uh, they are so excited to be here. They were extremely excited just to see the race car finally done uh, yesterday. And, uh, and that, for whatever reason, it just gives you an extra push to do your very, very best. And, um, and I'm very excited, obviously. Um, a great uh, car enthusiast, uh, like uh, Chip Foose, helped to, to design this, r this race car as well. So overall, just very excited. Um, Stanley, uh, with this uh, Racing for America program for the 12th year, um, you know, the donating with, uh, with Ace Hardware, $100,000. Uh, to this uh, to this foundation, and if we win the race, that will increase to a million dollars. So uh, I'm just, you know, very lucky. I'm very excited to be here, and I can wait to to have uh, the kids and Chip uh, with me this weekend. Perfect. We'll open it up to questions. We have a mic coming around. Um, state your name and affiliation, and we'll start down front with Lee. Do you have a favorite Stanley tool? <clears throat> you know. As you know, I use tools a lot. I work on cars a lot, so uh, it's very hard to choose just one because you 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 need more than one just to to work in in, in cars. But uh, something that you need to have doesn't matter what uh, are screwdrivers. So you need to have screwdrivers to make everything work. You you have to start with that. So for sure, I have my my um, my Stanley screwdrivers. Have you felt an outpouring of support when you race in states that are closer to your home country, like Texas or Phoenix or California? Yeah, uh, actually, I didn't mention this part because obviously there is a lot of going on this weekend for me. Um, but uh, Texas is the only racetrack that I can have family, friends, and, and, and all kind of uh, people from, from my hometown uh, driving to this place. So... Uh, so this is a special place for that as well because uh, it's not it's, it's not my home track, but uh, but it's very close. So I can call this one of my home tracks, and uh, um, and obviously I'm excited about that as well. But uh, but the number one, like I mentioned, is is these kids, and uh, and uh, and I, I really I really hope that we do a very very good race for these kids. Uh, it would be a dream come true for me to bring these kids with me to victory lane. That would be something amazing, just like winning a championship. Uh, because when you when you get the opportunity to meet these kids, it, it just, like I say, it just bring a, a big smile to your face and uh, and you can see that excitement uh, that they bring to the car, to the racetrack, and uh, hopefully to victory lane. Come over here to Claire. Claire B. Lang, Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. I interviewed you last night and I was really moved by how uh, what a big heart you had and kind of you were pouring it out about the kids. Have you always had a soft spot for kids and for this or is this something that touched you when you got involved in it and you kind of got into this program? You know, Claire, since I was racing in Mexico, uh, I've been fortunate enough to be part of uh, different uh, teams and, and sponsors that almost all of them, they have support different foundations. And, uh, and back when I was racing in Mexico, I remember... Uh, you know, being part of one of the foundations that help kids as well, and uh, and I I can see myself being um, very very aggressive and, and very hard on myself in, in in one side in the racing stuff, but but in the other side when it comes to kids, when it comes to helps others and and all all that all that kind of uh, things that we 
that we do beside racing is something I really love to do. Uh, I feel like, um, you know, I'm fortunate enough to be in this position and do what I love to do every weekend. And then the least that, w that we can do is to, to, to give back and to support others. And, and, and for me, uh, to be a small part of this is, is just a huge deal. Uh, uh, I'm sure you, you, everyone can see how excited I am, uh, not just for the race, not just for Texas, but as well for all these kids that, uh, that this is just, it's just very cool to hang out with them. The, these kids, they just, doesn't matter in what mall you are, these kids are gonna bring you a smile to your face. Over to your left, Daniel. Uh, Brett McMillan from PRN over here, Daniel. Way to your left. Uh, next week, it, it couldn't be much different from uh, the way you have it here at Texas when you go to Bristol. What's the biggest challenge for you in running a good lap or running a good race at Bristol? Well, Bristol, Bristol actually is, uh, is one of my favorite racetracks because it's very tough and it's very demanding physically and mentally. You don't have a lot of time to, to rest. But to be very honest with you, uh, even with I love Bristol and I feel like that's a very, very cool place. I haven't think about Bristol at all. Uh, right now, my, my main is in, in, in Texas and, and he's in doing well today in practice and qualify tomorrow in practice and Sunday in the race. James Harris, uh, WSB TV in Atlanta. Uh, talk about your biggest challenges for you and your team. What are you guys facing that, uh, as you look ahead to the rest of the season, uh, what are the biggest challenges you have? Well, we have had a lot of challenges so far this year. Um, we have had good speed. We just, we, we've been very inconsistent. Uh, we've been very, uh, struggling a little bit sometimes not always but sometimes to transfer that speed from practice to to the race or from qualify to practice um, the speed is there we just have to be able to transfer that speed through the weekend um, and that's something that we have to keep working on and uh, I'm trying to, to keep getting better at but uh, I'm sure we're gonna get it uh, we have uh, uh, some new engineers from from last year to this year and these guys are extremely smart, they have a huge talent, and, uh, and I'm sure once we get everything together and we, once we get in the right track, we're gonna, be, we're gonna be pretty strong. We just have to keep working at it and uh, hopefully we can get it here pretty soon. Over to you. In the back. In the back. My name is Jeanette Quesada and I'm with um, MBN Magazine. And I want you to share, how do you feel um, you identify, or do you see yourself with uh, coming back to the, the kids and just your inspiration by them? Do you feel that you identify at all, or do you see yourself um, in them at all? And what is the legacy that you hope to leave for them? Well, I feel like the, the most important part is, is just to, to give this kid an amazing experience, an, an, an experience that they will remember for life, forever. And, uh, and I feel like so far it's been just like that. Not just on my side, but as well designing the car with, uh, with, with someone like Chip Poos. Uh, actually, I'm a big fan of Chip. Uh, he's an amazing uh, car builder. Um, and I've been following him for a long time. And, and all these kids, uh, they are, you can tell right away the, the experience that they're having. Uh, yesterday at the hospital, they were extremely excited. They wanted to be here every day. and. Uh, and they, they are ready to go, they are ready to, they know that they are part of the, they, 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 they know that they designed the car, but that, that's not everything. They are part of the pit crew now. They are gonna be in the, in the, in the before the race in the grid with us. They are gonna be in the, in, in the pit box. They are gonna be part of the, of the, of the racing this weekend. And, and they, are, they are extremely excited about that. Uh, we, we have, we have a, a nickname for the car already as well, hashtag go, go froggy. And, uh, and overall, I feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I just have to do my part. Uh, I have to do my part, but I'm sure when, for whatever reason, when you have that positive energy of kids, uh, that transfer to yourself. And, uh, and I feel like, I feel that already on me. Uh, I feel like uh, I have a lot of positive energy from these kids, and I'm, I'm sure we're gonna do pretty well this weekend. We'll come up front to Chris Knight, and then we'll go to Nate and then wrap with Jeff Gluck. Chris Knight, Daniel, uh, w when it comes to winning in the Cup Series, is that something that weighs on your mind? 
and we keep waiting for that opportunity to to come forward. Yeah, I, obviously, it's, all, it's, it's something that is always in my mind. But um, but we have to we have to take things realistic and know where we are. Um, I feel like we we have had a speed uh, to run in the top five, and once you're running in the top five, pretty much you you can be able to to win races. Um, but I feel like we have to make those those two steps to be able to run in the top five and to be able to to, to win races. I know we're gonna get there uh, because we have a great team, we have a great people, and and I I know I can do it. Uh, we just have to keep working at it. I mean, it's it's, it's not easy. Uh, and I knew that since last year, uh, and I knew that to make it in the top ten in the, in the cup series it was gonna be tough. But the next two steps, I knew that they were gonna be even tougher. So um, we're gonna get there. We just we just need time and, and keep working at it. Go, Nate. Uh, Nate Ryan, NBC Sports. On your right, Daniel. Have you seen the the banner out here that you're a part of? I just did. Yeah. Okay. I uh, just wanted to get, one, what your impressions are of that, and two, uh, it's New Kids on the Track, which is based on New Kids on the Block, and I'm wondering if you have any idea what the New Kids on the Block are. You know, uh, sometimes I look to myself, and I feel like I'm getting old, and I'm glad that uh, Texas Motor Speedway, they keep, they keep looking at me as, as a kid, so I like that. Uh, I feel like, uh, I feel like that's, that's very cool. You know, I've been racing uh, with, uh, with all those guys in the banner, for a long time uh, since the K N days, so uh, it's very cool to to see all these guys now in the Cup Series, uh, really with myself and, and racing each other in the, in the in the highest level of racing. Um, because I remember uh, back in 2011 and 12, we were racing in the K N, so uh, it's very cool how things change in the in the sport and in in the young drivers and in the young uh, uh, series. So uh, it's very cool for me to see. Uh, that kind of uh, pictures or banners because uh, it just gives you a lot of memories from, from back in the day. New kids in the block? Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go with Jeff Gluck and then we'll wrap with Jerry Jordan. Jeff Gluck from jeffgluck.com. I had a similar question to Nate. I'm over here. Um, so it seems like some of the older guys are jealous of all the attention because, like, Kevin Harvick's tweet is blown up next to that banner talking about how the old guys have been doing it. Do you think that they're jealous of all the promotion that the young guys are getting? I think a little bit. <laughs> well, you know, that's – the way I think uh, is that all the veteran drivers, they, they, are, they are very strong. They have a very strong fan base, and they have, obviously, uh, a lot of support. And they, they have pretty much the path already made. And I feel like for, for young drivers, sometimes we need that extra push to start making that path and to, to start building that fan base. And, um, and there's it's nothing wrong to have some, some, some extra support. I'm, I'm sure, I mean, I, I, can, I can guarantee this because I wasn't around, but I'm sure that uh, when Kevin or uh, Kyle or, 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 you know, one any any of the veteran drivers when they were young in the in the middle twenties, I'm sure that they, they, they had some, some good exposure as well to help build that brand and to help build that fan base. And um, you know, uh, I <laughs> that that's that's what I think. I mean but that's maybe maybe that's 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 part of racing too. I mean everyone is competitive sometimes not just in the racetrack but as well outside of the racetrack. Go to Jerry Jordan. Jerry Jordan, kicking the tires at net and PRN. Uh, real quick, you came up here early uh, a few weeks ago and did something at the consulate. Eric Amarola yesterday did some, uh, some PR at a local ele elementary school, and you've done. You seen. You guys seem to be reaching out to the Hispanic Latin American community. Have you seen this? Uh, even though you have your own following already, and and he does too. Have you seen the, the the benefits of that? Have have you have more fans reached out to you about your influence and your your um, being a role model in that community? Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, for me, it's very cool. Like you mentioned, just uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was here for uh, with the with the with the consul, uh, and it's very cool to to meet people, not just from Mexico but from Latin America, that uh, 
and, and this has happened to me actually already several times that they come to me to tell me that, uh, that they, they, they didn't follow NASCAR a lot. Uh, they, they didn't know a lot about, about NASCAR, but once they find out that there was one uh, Mexican driver uh, racing in the Cup Series, now, now they follow uh, the, the sport and, and they, they follow me. So I think that's something very cool that uh, people is, is, is getting into a sport um, because they, they can feel that connection with someone. Um, and actually that has happened to me in the past as well. Uh, I remember with, uh, with boxing, for example, I, I wasn't you know, following a lot boxing when, when, I, when I didn't see any anyone from, from Mexico and, 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 and actually when someone from Mexico is, is, is doing well or, or doing something in, in, in next uh, series or fight or, or, or whatever, I start to follow a little bit more. I feel like that's, that's just like a natural connection and, uh, and I've seen that a lot in the last month and a half with the West Coast uh, swing and, and, and as well here in Texas. So just feel very proud to, to be a small part of this and, uh, and I'm sure that my team and NASCAR, everyone is doing a very good job trying to let everyone know what we're doing. Well, thank you, Daniel. Good luck this weekend. Thank you, guys.